we will continue our discussion on predicate logic what we will do is we will consider some compound expressions and see how to express using first order logic and we will also consider a logical argument using the proportional logic observations such as uh, implications and equivalences we will see how to convert a predicate logic into a proportional logic by instantiating with respect to specific instances or values and simplify and see whether a given logical argument is true or false okay so that will be our focus so let's look at uh, this example and see how to express them using first order logic so i say some irrational numbers are real okay and uh, in fact every irrational number is a real number but just for uh, you know this discussion i am considering this statement which is true okay and one can even make a stronger statement saying uh, all irrational numbers are real that's also there i am making this statement okay and if you want to write even we can write that as well so all irrational numbers are real and uh, then i say there exist a mapping between real numbers and rational numbers okay so then i say all irrational numbers can be approximated to rational numbers okay something like you give me an irrational number i will give you an approximate rational number so for every irrational number we will find one approximate rational number that's what this is then all real numbers are complex then i say between any two real numbers there exist another real number okay some argument a case study consider the following argument consider the following logical argument now what we want you express them in a foil fine so i make some sequence of uh, statements and maybe i may conclude saying therefore something but as of now just look at the sequence of statements we want to know how to express them in first order logic fine let's get into the expression first later we will see uh, suppose i want to conclude something therefore and things like that we will see whether uh, so and so conclusion follows from this premise or not fine so we will continue this so some irrational numbers are this so always to start with let's assume UOD is a set of numbers according to the UOD universe of discourse or the domain you will define appropriate predicates 
and with respect to the given uod we start writing this so for this let's assume it is a set of numbers so when i pick an element from this it's a number it could be an integer it could be rational and it could be any number so it says some irrational numbers are real so it is some so bring there exist x and this is a number this is an element from uod now i say irrational number ir of x meaning it is x is irrational so ir of x is a predicate which means x is irrational so this means ir of x is a predicate which means x is irrational okay it says uh, some real numbers some irrational numbers are real so irrational of x and r of x so when i say r of x x is a real number okay i am using some there exist because it says some and here is a predicate which says x is irrational and here is a predicate which says x is real and the next one says uh, all irrational numbers are real so universal quantifier so for all x irrational of x implies and r of x so please note in the examples we have discussed so far and uh, i am using and when i use there exist and i am using implication when i use for all but there are places where Uh, the context itself demands me to use uh, and for all that time i'll use it otherwise when i want to express statements like all boys are good all irrational numbers are real i'm actually using something like this just make a note of this and uh, we will see why i should use and why should i use this and uh, what would be the meaning in place of implication if i use and and if you are uh, curious you check uh, refer scribe to understand uh, this so refer scribe which is available in the website uh, to appreciate uh, why implication when we use for all and why and when we use uh, there exist okay and so there exists a mapping between uh, the next one is there exists a mapping between uh, real numbers and uh, rational numbers correct okay so you will find the scribe at this uh, link the next one says there exists a mapping between real numbers and uh, rational numbers listen uh, so this one it implicitly says uh, this is true for uh, any real number and any rational number okay sorry so there exists a mapping between real numbers and irrational numbers so there exists a mapping between real numbers and irrational numbers so what this says is it's a mapping so there exist a one to one correspondence between something like you give me the first real number i will map it to the first irrational number you give me second real number that will be mapped to second irrational number so that's what this says so this is like a real number this is like irrational and there exists a mapping between real and irrational so for each real number you have one corresponding irrational number and that's what uh, you know the word mapping conveys now we want to write this in foi let's make an attempt so you pick for all x for all y and ir of x is x is irrational and 
R of y is y is real then it says implies there exists a mapping okay there exists uh, a mapping okay there are a couple of ways of writing this let's list down one by one okay and now uh, mapping is a predicate and mapping is a predicate uh, which is so mapping is a predicate which is uh, relating these two so implies that uh, mapping x comma y so what it says is this for all is implicit which i took it out what it says is you pick any two real numbers and ir of x and r of y so x is uh, irrational and uh, y is uh, real number then the question is uh, implies there exists a mapping between x comma y one can write this in more than one way but for the time being i have i've given you this we will revisit this example with some other uod and how to rewrite this and so on let's look at this all irrational numbers can be approximated to a rational number and uh, again so it is an approximation so for all x it is an irrational number implies that it says you give me an irrational number i will give you an approximate rational number which means for every x there exists a y and that y is r of y r over here is uh, rational so let me say rational of y and x is approximated to y so for each irrational number there exist a rational number y such that uh, y is an approximation to x that's what uh, this says so the next one is uh, rather straight forward so the next one is all real numbers are complex so for each x if x is real implies uh, x is complex look at the next one it says you pick any two real numbers so for all x for all y and x is real and y is real then it says if that's the case implies you find a number z that number is also real and you see that the uh, z is between x and y okay so you pick any two real numbers you see that uh, x and y are real there exist z such that z is uh, a real number and z is uh, lying between x comma y and it says there exist another uh, real number so inside this itself uh, you can say it is real of this and uh, z is not same as x not same as y such that uh, z is between x and y okay so if we change the inverse of discourse then the way we write the fol will be different we will have to choose appropriate predicate uh, before we before we start writing fol 
So for this, I am assuming the set of numbers is my UOD. Then I define couple of predicates. One is IR of X, which means X is irrational. R of X, which means X is real. Then RAT of uh, X or Y, which means Y is a rational number. Then when I say approx, uh, Y is an approximate value of X. We can define. The way we define, we have to interpret. And I can write either X comma Y comma Z or Z comma X comma Y. Accordingly, the interpretation comes. Z lies between X comma Y. And C of X meaning X is a complex number. So the first one says uh, some irrational numbers are real. So use the quantifier there exist. It says uh, X is uh, irrational and real. The next one says all irrational numbers are real. So this says IR of X imply R of X. The next one says there exists a mapping between real numbers and irrational numbers. In this uh, the quantifier capturing irrational and uh, real is kind of hidden. So I am explicitly taking it out and I am saying uh, mapping this. So please note uh, we are not writing this. There exists there exist a mapping and uh, at this place but one can also write that there exists a mapping using uh, quantifier there exists Z map of Z and so on which we shall discuss little later. As of now, uh, I am not bringing that. I am only telling you uh, mapping of x comma y. That's it. And all irrational numbers can be approximated to rational numbers. And uh, pick a number. It is irrational, which means uh, there exists y, and y is rational, and y is an approximation to x. And all real numbers are complex. Real imply complex. You pick any two real numbers, pick two numbers and if they are real then there exists Z such that Z is real and Z lies between X comma Y. Because another real number I am explicitly mentioning Z not equals X not equals Y. Again when I use for all I am using implication. When I am using there exist, I am using and. So please make a note, also refer scribe for the justification. Okay. See, I could have uh, as well written each of them as just, you know, P, Q, R, S and so on. And each one is a proposition. We didn't do it. The reason is uh, we want to capture maximum number of information from the sentence. So that if you are asked to prove uh, whether the argument is valid or if you conclude something whether the conclusion follows from all of this, we will be in a better position to conclude or make a justification and if the expressive power is appropriate. If you use simple proportional logic, we may not be able to express things like all irrational numbers, some irrational number, there exists a mapping and so on. Now even with this you will find uh, limitations. For example in this I didn't uh, capture there exists a mapping using the appropriate quantifier. We will see how to uh, bring in that as well by bringing in the appropriate UOD. Otherwise uh, most of the information given in each of the uh, sentences are captured with the help of this FOL. Okay, and uh, we shall increase this expressive power and by bringing an appropriate uh, predicate and we will see how to uh, bring, you know, some more predicates by modifying the universe of discourse.